Hey there, I'm Sage and you're watching D&D Daily, where we release new D&D content every day. If you are looking for D&D inspiration and information, then you are in the right spot because today we're talking about the Finder, a half-orc for hire. In order to play the Finder, you're going to need to be the Gloomstalker Ranger, a half-orc with the Mark of Finding variant, and to take the Urban Bounty Hunter background. The Finder is a freelance detective. Whether it's your lost necklace or the local serial killer, the finder is the one to locate it. For a price, of course. Working in such an environment has the, one of the finder's feet in the law and the other foot out of it. She's often hired by the local bureaucracy to locate petty criminals, but every now and again, petty criminals will hire her to find a rare necklace. As long as the pay is good, she's willing to find it. The finder's knowledge of both these worlds gives her access to the ear to the ground background feature which means she can find a contact in any city to gather the latest news and gossip. She uses this contact often and always. The Finder loves money, but is not very good with it. She has a gambling addiction and she is not a lucky person. So as fast as she makes money, she loses it and she's just always hungry for more money. She is persistent. You kind of have to be in order to be the Finder. And sometimes things are hard to find and you gotta keep at it until you do. She is a gloomy gloom stalker. Her emotions tend to be on the more pessimistic side of things. And she is notoriously uncharismatic. She tries her best to come across as, as someone people like, but she is just bad at it. She's always rough and grumbly. This pessimistic and gloomy outlook hides the fact that she has a soft spot for her friends. Just a weird way of showing it. She's the type of person that takes a while to understand, but once you do, you'll get that by her punching your arm, she's saying, I love you, and I'd sooner rip my eye out than let you be unhappy. She might not be able to say it in words, but hopefully the message comes across. In combat, the Finder heavily relies on her Gloomstalker Ranger side, which is an absolute powerhouse in combat. The Umbral Sight and Dread Ambusher features from the Gloomstalker subclass make her hit hard and make her hit fast. She gets a bonus to her initiative, equal to her wisdom modifier, extra dark vision range, more movement, and an extra attack on your first round. And if that wasn't enough, you also can't be seen in darkness by creatures using dark vision. All of that is at level three. Talk about insane. The finder is a dex build and thus has flexibility between using a bow or a finesse weapon. She leans on her bow most often, taking the amazing ranged fighting combat style. And darkness is her best friend, and she is constantly looking for ways to use it to her advantage. She sometimes can do that through manipulating the environment, say, putting out the torches. And sometimes it's just already there, and she can just maneuver herself, positionally speaking, to take advantage of it. Out of combat, the finder is, you guessed it, pretty good at finding things that need to be found. The finder can use her racial trait, Hunter's Intuition which makes her particularly good at perception checks by letting her add a d4 to the roll. This is useful for when the party needs a lookout, a scout, or pretty much any time you walk into a new room. She's also not too shabby at infiltration when you combine proficiency in sneak, thieves tools, and the amazing pass without trace spell. During the finder's downtime, remember that she is a struggling freelancer and she would need to do some advertising. However, her desperation for money and her notoriously low charisma make it super difficult for her, and I would personally use it as a running gag that she is just terrible at marketing herself. I could see potential customers getting scared off all the time. When not trying to get work, she should be doing work. Searching, sleuthing, and scouring the city to find what needs to be found. The finder relies a lot on her skills, investigation, stealth, perception, insight, and thieves tools all stand out to me as skills she would have proficiency in. The Mark of Finding spell list also has a plethora of amazing spells to utilize to find everything from a fern to a dragon, and even allows her to cast find objects once per day for free. She'll be using the spell list often during her downtime. She is creative in how she uses the Locate Object spell as it's a bit of her signature spell. For example, she likes to cut a small unique design into a coin and familiarize herself with this coin. She can then reverse pickpocket onto someone and have a sort of tracking device on them so she can tell them from a distance. 
Overall, the Finder is a well-balanced character, with the only glaring weakness being that of her, her horrible, horrible charisma. It's just hot garbage. I would personally avoid any charisma skill proficiency with her in order to further exaggerate this weakness. This is the type of weakness I would lean into and, and have it be funny and have it be fun that you try and go be the face in certain situations, but you're just bad at it. As an NPC, the finder shines in an urban setting where the party needs to find something or someone. They might run into her shop, which could be a bit run down and more than a bit messy. She's kind of ornery, kind of doesn't come across the best. If they choose to hire despite this, they would find she's actually quite capable and she would help them find what they need to find. Later in the campaign, I would have the enemy hire her to find the party, which she would do. This would show through her actions that this character is neutral in nature and simply goes where the money leads her. The finder would focus far less on combat and more on information gathering, so a combat with her would most likely be a chase. Any urban environment would do, but I personally would go with a rooftop chase and at some point during this chase, I would be sure to mix in her disguise self spell that she gets from her Gloomstalker subclass to make that chase a little bit more interesting. How would you use the Finder in one of your games? What would you do to make her different? Let us know in the comments below. You can also give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down depending on what you thought of this video. Either way, it's going to help us know what kind of content you're looking for. And on the next episode of D&D Flavor Builds, we're going to be talking about Dark Chaos, Mayhem, Incarnate. Hit the subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss it. Later.